Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm very pleased to be sharing a very different and very special dessert with you. It is a almond and brown butter cake. Now this cake is a classic French almond cake with a um, buttery, nutty flavor to it. Very, very delicious. And the edges will crisp up nicely. It will be perfection. So we're going to be adding some almonds on the top of our cake and it's just going to be perfection. So let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing here. So first of all, I have a saucepan here. In my saucepan, I have three quarter cups of butter. We will be making, um, a brown butter sauce and then we'll be adding in some vanilla and we'll also be adding in some whiskey which will be optional and I will be talking more about that throughout the ingredients description. Okay, so here we have one and a quarter cups of ground almond flour. Here we have eight egg whites. I have one cup of all-purpose flour, one and three quarter cups of sugar, one third a cup of sliced almonds, just regular blanched sliced almonds. Here I have two tablespoons of whiskey. We're gonna be using a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla paste. So I also wanted to talk to you about um, the pan I'll be using. I'm going to be using a nine inch springform pan. You need to make sure it is very well greased. And I've also added a nice round piece of parchment paper here. So it will be much easier to remove and place on our platter. So you wanna make sure well greased and some parchment paper on the bottom of your pan. Now, about the whiskey, it's most definitely optional, but I do think it adds a very special touch to this recipe. But if you don't drink alcohol or you don't want to add it into the recipe, that's fine. So let's move on to making our brown butter sauce. All right, so with our stove top on medium low heat, we're going to allow our butter to melt. And this kind of sauce um, cannot be left unattended. You most definitely need to be here throughout the whole process. It will take about five minutes or so to get that nice um, buttery sauce look, like a golden color. Now, if you don't want to use vanilla paste and you have a vanilla bean on hand, most definitely you can add in the middle, um, like you can de-seed the vanilla bean and add it in here right now, like you would add it right in the beginning but I don't have any vanilla beans on hand, so I will be using a vanilla bean paste, which I will be adding in as soon as my butter sauce is done. And then I will add in the alcohol as well. Okay, so my butter is pretty much completely melted here and now we are going to keep an eye on it leaving your temperature on medium low heat and with about within about five minutes or so you should have that golden brown luscious look I also want to remind you to make sure you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit Okay, so as you can see, our sauce is a nice golden brown. So after your butter starts to come up to a nice gentle boil, you have to keep on stirring because about five, six minutes later, it will become this color. Now, if you find that your sauce has any little chunks or anything, because you got maybe distracted, it happens, um, just make sure you run it through a sieve. So I have already closed my stove top because I'm really happy with the color of my sauce here. And now I'm going to remove it from my stove and we're going to add in our other ingredients. Okay, so it is most definitely better and I do suggest you use either a vanilla bean or vanilla bean paste, but if you don't have that on hand, you can most definitely add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and it will be um, very flavorful and, flavorful and delicious as well. So let's add in our teaspoon of vanilla paste here. 
Okay. Just give it a nice stir. Be careful because it will bubble up a little bit. So you just want to always be cautious. And it is off my stove top, so. Just keep stirring because it will bubble up a little bit. Okay, so now we'll add in our two tablespoons of whiskey. I do suggest when you remove your um, brown butter sauce from the stove, just wait about five, seven minutes and then add in the vanilla and the whiskey. Just so you don't have anything bubbling up on you. It may seem like it's gonna split, but don't worry. It's all gonna work out in the end. Okay, so the mixture will look weird right now, but uh, we will be adding this into our um, cake batter. So don't worry, it's going to be perfect. Okay, now because I have a little bit of foam on top, I am gonna run it through a sieve and I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll set our brown butter sauce aside to cool and we're gonna work on the filling of our cake or the batter of our cake, I should say. Okay, so first off in our standing mixer, most definitely you don't have a standing mixer, that's fine. You can use a handheld electric whisk and that will work just fine. So now we're going to add in our egg whites here. And we're going to add in probably about an eighth a teaspoon of salt, not much. And we're going to whisk, whisk these egg whites until firm peaks. Okay, so now that our egg whites are almost at the consistency we need, we're going to start adding in our sugar in about uh, four or five portions. Always mixing. We'll keep mixing until we have the consistency of the meringues that we need. Okay, so I mixed for an extra 30 seconds or so, and now we have the perfect meringue consistency that we need. So I'm going to remove my whisk attachment, and I'm going to remove my bowl from my machine, and we're going to add in our flour and our almond flour with a spatula. Okay, so our meringue consistency, as you can see, is just perfect. It's almost like a marshmallow fluff. Okay, so now I have previously uh, sifted my flour, so you want to make sure you do that. So I'm going to add in um, half of my flour, and I'm going to add in about a quarter of my butter sauce. Okay. And we're going to mix with a spatula. Down and around. Don't mix like you're mixing with a whisk or you'll lose the air of your meringue. So just be patient with it.
the meaning of our flower. Another quarter of our brown butter sauce. Okay. Mix gently again. Okay, so same process with our almond flour. Half of the almond flour, half of the remaining butter sauce, and then we'll do that to the remaining uh, almond flour and remaining sauce, and then we're ready to place it in our springform pan. Now we're ready to bake this beautiful cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Keep an eye on it when you notice it's hit about the 35 minute mark. You just want to insert a toothpick. If it comes out clean, then you're good. If not, leave it in for just a few more minutes until your toothpick comes out clean. One more thing before we get to baking, I always like to place my springform pans on top of a baking sheet just in case we get any leakage from the bottom so we're safe and we don't dirty our ovens. So let's get to baking. Okay, so my cake baked for exactly 45 minutes and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for about 5 minutes, then I'm going to run a butter knife around the edges, make sure it's loose from the pan and then we'll wait another 10 minutes or so and then we're ready to remove our cake. Okay, so now very carefully we are ready to place our cake on a platter. So as I said, after five minutes, I ran a butter knife around the edges, made sure it was loose from the pan, and now it's been an extra 10 minutes, and we are ready to place our cake on our platter. Okay, so now we're going to have to carefully just loosen the edges here. Now remember, we have the parchment paper under here, so it's gonna be easy to remove our cake. You just have to make sure that you have to remove the uh, parchment paper before placing your cake on your platter or you'll have <laughs> parchment paper on your pieces of cake and that won't be good at all. Okay, seems like it's looking good here. Just want to make sure everything is nice and loose. Okay, good. Okay, so our cake is still pretty hot, so you still want to be careful. Okay. All right, actually, the parchment paper perfectly stuck to the bottom of my cake pan, so I don't have to worry about peeling it off. Perfect. Okay. So just look at how perfect this cake looks. Just amazing. 
amazing. It smells so good, I can't even tell you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to allow my cake to sit for an extra half an hour and we will place a generous amount of icing sugar or powdered sugar on top of our cake and then we are that close to trying our cake. Okay, so my cake has been cooling for about half an hour and it's, it's still pretty lukewarm. So what I have here is about three tablespoons of icing sugar or powdered sugar. And we're just going to place a couple teaspoons on a sieve and just sprinkle it on our cake. So you can put as much or as little as you like or you can leave the cake just as it is. Okay, so it's time to cut a slice. As you can see, it has a nice crispy topping and edge. Wow, look how amazing this looks. Okay, so let's try it. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what this tastes like. On the outside it has that nice crunchy crust all around and on top and on the inside it tastes like the inner chewy, moist uh, Italian cookies that you purchase at the Italian bakeries that when you bite into them, it's this really moist, just amazing almond flavor. This is exactly what the inside of the cake tastes like. It is perfection. It is like nothing I've ever had before. Very, very good, very easy to make, and most definitely going to be a crowd pleaser. So I'm just gonna take another piece here. Wow. Amazing. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's most definitely very different, very flavorful. It is just perfection. So that's about it guys. So simple to make. Not very many ingredients. And I really hope you guys give this a try. So if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. And give the recipe a nice big thumbs up to help our channel grow. And also share the recipe with your family and friends. Enjoy it. Make it for your, your kids, your family. You will love it. Everyone will love it. I guarantee you. So that's about it. And I'll see you in my next recipe. Take care. Bye everyone.